<laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we recommend make, sipping it. We just recommend to make sure, sipping just, just to make sure it's that good. Yeah, no, it is. It's delicious. I love the bottom. Yeah. It's a, so now we have to be the ambassadors. <laughs> hey, look, we, you see we got the neon, man. Shout out to Pot oh, Tequila. They, <laughs> yeah, they, they showing love, man. They sponsoring my, uh, the Texas tour and oh, the podcast. Good. Yeah, it's delicious. Yes, we're going to be drinking I ain't gonna it Odessa. I'm going to tell you what Oh, yeah, is. yeah. We're going to have some in Odessa. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have Odessa. Is. This, uh, by the time this episode drops. You've already been there. Yeah. I, I, oh, okay. It Odessa got the heat. It there. got the fire and heat of Casamigos. It's not nasty and strong like Patron. Mm. I'll tell you why when you're done. Man. Oh, fuck. I hope you don't say you, nothing bad. No, you know nah. you know what it is, bro? You're going to say it's hog nah, learned. I learned. Say it's piss in it. No, no. It, I learned that it's 100% agave. And a lot of tequilas mm-hmm. in the market that's popping and everybody knows the name. And they sell yeah. them in rap songs. It's, it ends up being like 49% additives. Like uh, what kind of liquor did he say they put? Uh, sugar cane alcohol. Yeah. They, it's cut. Everything stepped on. Okay. He said, bro. This shit is. Los aditivos. Yeah, it's like aditivos. that. It's like that. I want sauce. So much Spanish off that episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the A1 sauce. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> that shit tastes good. Uh, man, Javi is out of Corpus Christi and he's actually dropping a special March yeah. 10th. I, so, yeah, I think it's out. Out. it's out. It came out. It already blew what up. What kind of Y'all special? To the game. Comedy, Comedy special. Yeah, one yeah. Out, what? One out yeah, he, he's one of my mentors in the stand-up yeah. game. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah man. Coming Congratulations, out my brother. YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Man. I can't wait there. I can't wait to rock with you. Yeah. I love Corpus Christi. Yeah, man. You like, like, hey, my. I saw you perform in Corpus one time. Yeah, that's real. My some of my best friends from Corpus, D Green, a vi- my videographer. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He does all my videos. He's from Corpus. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I've seen his stuff for sure. There's about ten more names I want to give a shout out to, but I just can't. But the, but the pots <laughs> keep <it> kicking. <laughs> but um, shout out to all y'all. Corpus Christi, y'all know I love you. Scuba, um, Main, uh, everybody. Out the three six one. Um, three six one in whole. Yes, DJ Fab, give you a funny story. Quick about I mean, I got two funny stories about Corpus. You want them yeah, right now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. I'm gonna give you the the first one was I shot a video with a dude, right? So the second scene of the video was like right, we had to go a little deeper. He said, Hey man, if I was you, I wouldn't go over there and shoot that video. He said, Why? He said, Hey man, that's that's real me. I know. I said, what the fuck you mean? Yeah, that's what I love. That's what most of my fans. <laughs> he said, no. You know, like, 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 y'all gonna be rapping, but like, it's gonna be real, like, guns, kilos, and pounds in the house. Nigga, that's why I wanna be. <laughs> <laughs> and when we went in, everybody, everybody, look, everybody got masks on. I'm like, shit, nigga, this is what I'm used to. This is what I like. <laughs> you put your mask on. <laughs> it's actually three stories. This other one, I did a concert across the border. Um, and this dude, he was he was such a fan. He was like, "E, come to my house for the after party." I said, "Where you live?" He said, "I live right on the river." Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. He said, "My grandmother just brought forty pounds across the water." I said, "Man, bro, how you at the concert? Your grandma bringing the weed?" Mm-hmm. He said, I'm "For real, let's go there." I was scared. I, you know, I really, you know, like, yeah. he was like, he was like, "Come on." I was like, mm-hmm. I, I just didn't go. You know, I would have went, but yeah. I, that I didn't go. Yeah. And um, can't get in everybody's car. Man. I can't get in everybody's <laughs> car. But they, you know, they gave me so many gifts and so much. You yeah. know, I made a I made up a, um, a joke off one of them. He was like, Hey, ESG, I give you a thousand dollars if you fuck my wife. I said, huh? <laughs> I said, Wait a minute. <laughs> he said, I give you six thousand if you let me watch. I said, Oh. Love, he said, I'll give you 10000 if you let me tickle your balls. I said, what? no, I'm not going. <laughs> I didn't go. I, I was scared. I said, he's going to rape me. <laughs> hey, he's like, I thought the punchline was going to be like, next day I had a $10,000 grill. <laughs> that, like, I didn't go for it. That's I like two go months worth of drink right go there, it. man. But, I, but I, I, you know, I, I, if I knew what I knew now, I would have kept <laughs> going. <laughs> and, and, and because, the you know, the Border Patrol, mm-hmm. they, you know, I didn't know, you know, once mm-hmm. you get to the line. Like you can't make a U-turn no more. Oh, yeah. So you know we in a big. <laughs> it's a little suspicious. We in a big. <laughs> we in big clean ass bins, piece of chain, diamonds on. So I see the guy. He just an automatic looks like. He's pointing which cars to come. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, yeah. get your ass over here. <laughs> so when he pulls over there to search, I just hold him here my post. I said, did a concert. He said, oh, go home. I said, fuck. Could have had. They do. I said, I got the twenty kilos. 
day I did a concert. I said, I said, I said I'm going day. Uh, you know, yeah. But I love, I love it. You know, you know, I am. Much that not, disarms the situation. Definitely with comedy too. Like you said, like oh yeah, we're doing a comedy show. Like very often, they're no shit. pulled over. They're like, okay, yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, but go. what happens when they say, "What's the code?" <laughs> Well, if you're down, if you're down in the valley, the code's Raymond Orta. I learned no, I'm not going to say that. That <laughs> might be early on. That, that, might be the wrong, that might be the wrong code, and I wind up with my leg, and my leg is inferior, and my head is in new, new you know, over yeah, there. Not Matamoros. Matamoros, <laughs> yeah. I got, I, hey, I got a song coming out, though. Noco Mafioso. It's a bad motherfucker. Noco Mafioso? Yeah, I, I, I rap. Every line, each, each, I read one line in Spanish, one line in English. Ooh. Then my other partner, he does his whole line, his whole verse in Spanish. Damn. When I tell you this song is so motherfucking hard, it's gonna start a war. Shit. <laughs> God damn. The hook. Yeah. I really wanna, man. man I, really, oh, I, I really wanna play it for you. Well, let us know when it releases. When man. it releases, we're ready. For it's, sure. It's, it's Trump Bill of Wall, we gonna put a hole in it. Oh. Put a hole in it. I'm gonna put a hole in it. I'm gonna send some dope in it. I'm gonna send my folks in it. Hey, man, this <laughs> God song damn. is so hard, man. <laughs> God, I see it so hard. So I need. <laughs> so, that was hard than a bitch. So I have it. Put I, a hole in it. Then put my folks you, in it. I need you to be. I love it. Uh, Chingo, we mm-hmm. gonna, we gonna make the video. Um, soon we're gonna put Javi yeah. through, the, through the hole in the wall. He not, he's not gonna fit. I'm, I'm gonna plug the hole up. You gonna plug the hole up? I'm gonna plug, plug the hole up. But Javi lasts. So either that or he gonna know. like bust through the yeah. wall, make the hole. Yeah, he gonna make the hole. Oh, this some Kool Aid. Kool Aid man. Yeah, yeah. Did you, but but Taco you, you man, you gotta be in the video. Yeah, okay. for real. Oh yeah, you know, I don't, he don't like he don't, he don't like Rob. Rob, Rob, Rob passed a border patrol agent or something. Yo, he can play La Migra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll play La Migra. We gonna make him be a border patrol. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say we are gonna make him a snitch. <laughs> no, nah, hell no. Nah. We gonna be the driver. We're not gonna gun on you. Oh, <laughs> gonna tell him. We, we gonna, but we gonna for real. You, you got to be a border patrol. <laughs> All right, bet. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, it's not come out. You know what I'm saying? We back to green, bad. big dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, I love the setup, man. You, you know, I've always been a fan of yours. Thank always, you, bro, man. You, time you, you always show me love. Yeah, and always. we did a song, too, called Manager. Man, I forgot manager, all about this song. I could be your manager. Talking about see, like, oh, yeah. See, they don't, yeah. They, yeah. see a, lot of, a lot of people in the hood don't understand how hard Chingo is. <laughs> they sleeping. See, they get no. They think, oh, he got a little podcast, man. No, they get confused. <laughs> when you crack jokes and be funny, they think they that's how you really they, are. Yeah, you playing. Yeah. You okay. feel what I'm saying? Baby they don't know how hard he is. Yeah, like, he's a great artist. I, you know, I hate he backed away from the music. You know, it, it's just like, I, you know, I love, you know, I just want to say I love his art. I yeah, likewise, his bro. It's, a, it's you, an honor. You was a monster. Thank you, you was a monster. Sir. And to me, I feel like, you know, Sometimes you know when people when people see the they want to see the happy side of you yeah. so much, you know. Sometimes you're forced to be the happy side all the time, and you don't get to be that alter ego. You feel me? Yeah, baby Glock. Baby that's, Glock. That's, that's my alter ego. Yeah, he, he's a hard man. Man, so you you, uh, you almost did some business with Diddy as well. Yeah, everybody everybody tried to sign me. Yeah, Diddy tried to sign. Me. I'm glad I did sign with Diddy. None of his artists are still alive. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's like that me and me and me and screw we wrecked the birthday bash. Uh I it was two times they tried to sign me. But I didn't even know back then, you know, like they was overwhelmed at, at the way me and Screw and just my performance was swinging the banging and everything. Biggie was on the show, Mary J. Blige on the show, Total on the show, uh uh Naughty by Nature on the show, so many different groups. It was the box birthday bash, you know. I was voted the best performer. How does a little young kid from half Texas and half Louisiana get voted as the best performer on a concert? With all them people. With all those people. Then they call in. You know what I mean? And, and I, it was, it was I, you know, I never forget. I, those are certain things that I don't forget. You feel know I me? Mean? And I remember that personally. It, they had a, everybody like, call, call the radio station, tell me who's your best performer. Like the first five calls was Biggie, the next thirty five in a row was ESG. It might have been biased because this is where I'm from, but Pete did it. Ran back trying to get it to my dressing room. 
hey, who was that? My homies was gangsters. Hey, they ain't let him come back there. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not touching them. You know, go on, baby. For real. You know, we shut it down. But they was filming Jason Lyric. Oh, right yeah, around yeah, Around that yeah. time. Yeah. But King Woodbine grabbed me around my neck so hard when he heard me freestyling. Oh, Bo King Woodbine. Yeah, King. You know, he kicked me in the leg. <laughs> I'll tell you about that later. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, but he, grabbed me. he had never heard nobody freestyle like that. Trish, me and Trish, you know, we, we have been, we've been friends a long time just from that them seeing me that freestyle they didn't at the show or on the no, s- or, no, so on, the people from Jason's the club, lyric at Jamaica Jamaica you know why they was saying we was at Jamaica Jamaica and they was there so we had a uh, you know us a bunch of big boss boss players out there one dude had another artist he had just signed he was like this, this dude here got right ready right, right. it's me Fat Pat all those out there you know Fat Pat not a battle rapper you know he's just a rapper rapper but I'm like, I'm a battle rapper, you know, at that time. You know, I'd be like, Psh, go out, put in work, pot tequila. Yeah, that's what it is. Biggie on his shirt, going off all. I got flow. Blue Astros, white and orange Astros, all off the head. You know, everything was just like what you see. Yeah. So I would rap about rap that. Then i just look at him and be like, nigga, yeah, you need to get your fashion on. How you a rapper with them red glass glasses on? Your shoes don't match your shirt, you know? And they was like, oh, embarrassed at the point. So, like, bam, I won $1,000, you know? But, and Trish and them had never seen it. You know, same like at Jack the Rapper. Mm-hmm. That's when I first met, you know, they like Tupac, you know? I went right up to Pac. Yeah. <sighs> Shook his hands out of it. Like, uh, the, it was the group, uh, damn, I forgot their name. But, like, that was, like, um, uh, What's the, what's the, what's the, um, damn. Q-tip, Q-tip. Now. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tribe Called Quest. Tribe Called Quest. We came big fan. You know, they seen me freestyling. Q-tip, you know, they were like, wow. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was just so crazy, you know. They just had never seen that, you know. And it is what it is. I never got my just due. But I'm top 40 underrated artists of all time. But God has blessed me. Beat, I'm beating cancer. And colon cancer. So my next quest and goal is to catch Jay Z and Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's my homie. We've been in the studio a bunch of times. But the reason I say go catch him because those are the only two people that always call themselves the best rappers alive. See, I started from the bottom. Now I'm one of the greatest though. Who the best? Wayne the Jigger? Shit. I just ate a goat. <laughs> Lamb chop. <laughs> Glass of scotch with a state to go. Hey. Throw the wet those into cart day out of Mexico. <laughs> Sixty bills, you know. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. hopping yeah. out of candy helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Fat it was twenty three. The reason I'm doing it, it's so it man, like, I thought I told you. I went to a studio. It was a studio. It was, you know, I didn't, I didn't know this was gonna happen. So I was doing a feature, and I used to be in the studio with them all the time. But this, this particular engineer, he was like, he cut the beat on. It was a feature. Boom! I heard the beat. Pow! Did it. He like man. I'm the one did the beat. And she, he said, man, you just did that freestyle just like that? He said, yeah. I was like, it was easy because I felt the beat. He said, man, it took you 30 minutes. You done. He said, Wayne was here yesterday. It took him six hours. I said, what? Mm. So does, it, does that make me the best rapper alive? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it is what it is. It's all love. Yeah. but He's worth the it's, conversation. It's friendly conversation. Like? Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. I'm going to go get yeah. it. You know, I'm, I'm going for the title. Yeah. You, feel uh, me? Yeah. you know, t- it is what it is. Yeah. Man, holy ah, shit. Some good ass stories, man. You got any yeah. questions, Rob? No, I'm just blown away by the stories he's telling. Yeah, more stories in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You look like, you like Big Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you like Big Jesus. They, they couldn't have a cross big enough Jesus. to hold me, man. Yeah, for he the, he's for Hita Jesus. For Hita Jesus. God. For Hita Jesus. <laughs> for Hita That's Hita Jesus. <laughs> for Hita Jesus. <laughs> How are we going to go on stage next time? Like, man, I know what y'all <laughs> thinking, man. Who the hell is this for Hita <laughs> Jesus up here? It's going to be my alter ego. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, you, you, look, you be the barbecue pit cross. You know. <laughs> <laughs> For real, you on a barbecue pit. You be on a barbecue pit. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, just, next special. I just ate a goat. Fajita Jesus yeah. is my next special. That's your next special, special for sure. Already named <laughs> That's his next comedy special. Fajita, Fajita Jesus. Fajita Jesus. Fajita. Do some merch. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Man, hey, bro. You, man. It's, so, it's, it's so many. I'm like my mind. Like. When the so many drop. different eras, you know what I'm saying? So many different eras and everything right. to where, like, you know. I and mean, that we, same we could, song, Outside uh, Been Hot for three decades. 
And when's that new song coming out? Do you have a date for it already? No, no, no. not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, the red tape is out. South South State, hold on, y'all go get that. You know, everybody's on that. It's called the red tape. The blue tape is the next tape. Then it's the white tape. The white tape is the tape that I'm going to get. Those. Rah! The red tape was more the slab culture. The blue tape is more my trap history, my trap culture. Where I come from, and lose now. Mm-hmm. My uncles was, my dad, uh, rest in peace. You know, he died a couple years ago, prostate cancer. But my dad and my uncles was some of the most feared and gangsters, feared gangsters in Louisiana. You know, being back and forth, my other uncles from Houston. They ran Louisiana, that part of Louisiana. My dad got in a shootout with the police. Pa pa, caught on like ten pounds. He went to Angola. He got stabbed twenty five times. Oof. When he got it, like he like he kidnapped and my stepdad and drug him on the truck. They just bring like hundred pounds of marijuana to Louisiana. I I never even knew they was bringing that much. I just knew my uncles was. I just like my uncles rich. You feel me? And I got all these stories and shit. That's the blue tape telling my story. Ooh, R.P. My, R.P. My dad. R.P. My uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy. Uh, somebody robbed. Him. You know, he was a big boss, big boss, you know, you know, like, ah, super boss. Somebody robbed him for like 27 ounces. In Louisiana at that time, an ounce was like 1500 2000 So 2700 it's like a $50,000 lick to them. They robbed him and killed him. Some kids wow. from New Orleans. Yeah, he was the big dog out there. And yeah. that's who, uh, you know, unfortunately gave me my introduction to the streets at a young age. Mm-hmm. And so the blue tape is telling that story. The white tape is my boss tape. I can't do the black tape because JG did the black tape. Nobody did the white tape, though. So I'm the white tape. The white tape is me bossed up. You know what I'm saying? Suits. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's when you get that. The song Narco Mafioso, I might put that on uh, the blue tape. You be ready for that. That wall put a hole in there. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to put some dope you in You excited? It. Fucking around, put I'm my excited, folks man. in there. Yeah. Right. yeah. Fajita Jesus uh, feeling it. So you said you kind of backed away from the stand-up game a little bit? Yeah, because it was it was I, I did 36 shows in like three months. From the price range of free, 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 two fifty, seven fifty, fifteen hundred, free, free, free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was unorganized. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I didn't know how to, you know, I didn't know, like, you know, am I, you know, a lot of my homies used to be saying shit like you, you love show the Hispanics so much love. That's because they show me so much love. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when you know the love is genuine, it's a different thing. So they they may not know the history that I have with this Hispanic person. They don't know me and this person is family. We eat together all the time. I go there, we barbecue, we kick it, we watch Super Bowls together. They only see what they see on social media. So if they see... Uh, me and them doing so much money. Hey, man, you show them more love than me. You gonna talk me this and that. And yeah, because they show me so much love. You feel me? And that's just how I will. That's just how it is. So, you know, had, had to explain to them. Man. You know, yeah, that's, some of us are just like that. That's just how I am. E, how do you feel about social media versus how it was 20 plus years ago? Like, we wouldn't, that's why SUC fell behind. I'm scratching right here. That's what my, my little damn, my little can't support it. My, it would be itchy. My chemo thing. Anyway, um, we would not go, like, we wouldn't do the interviews. I, you know, I wouldn't. Most of us, street, like, I'm not going to go tell Double XL what we do with Sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, just, yeah. I, we just felt like it was an in, 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 in house thing. Hmm. Other people looked at it different. Like, comedian there understood the tech world. You feel me? Like, he's the one that introduced me to, like, I told Slim, like, back then I used to be like, hey, your homeboy that rap, little dude, comedian there, sign him. Pow Wow, the dude, um, j Dog, he can rap too, sign him. Slim was like, man, I ain't worried about signing nobody. Da, 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 da. It's just the vision that we had, you know. Everybody had the different visions. And comedian there was a visionary in different ways. So I remember when he called me, he was like, he always used to tell me about different tech shit. And he was like, um, hey, you know, I'm getting involved here. Some shit called Ring. You know, yeah. <laughs> some, <laughs> some shit called Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker named like, hey, Bezos. He was like, hey, hey, eat, eat. Like, 
the reason I still ride Lyft, I never, I, you know, I only rode Uber twice, but I was still ride Lyft, you know, my license was suspended. <laughs> DWI. <laughs> when I wasn't drinking, but I was high. Anyway, <laughs> so my license got suspended. Yeah. But here comes the hip hop guy, give me a phone call from the great, I call him Hakeem the Dream. That's why I call yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He was like, hey, E. Um, Look, we launching this thing called in Houston called Lyft, and I want you to be part, part of it. I'm gonna give you like you know a thousand dollar worth of credit. I was like, what the fuck is Lyft? He said it's like Uber. You know, you're right. I said like, what? You know, so you know, mm-hmm. he's been a, been ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So um, he's the one who introduced me to that, and I still been riding to this day. Like same here. Like man, this shit just blew my mind because my wife, like last, uh, I just came back from Florida and. Um, I was on the phone with her. It was like late at night. I was like, hey, I got to schedule my Lyft for the morning. She's like, why don't you do Uber? Does it have to be Lyft? And she, she, we just got into this whole discussion as like, why Lyft? And I, and I couldn't really answer the question. But it's the same reason. Come in there, hook me up with some, with some credit. <laughs> and now it but, makes sense. That's why I'm but, still but on I'm Lyft. I'm telling you, though. I'm going to be like, fuck Uber, dog. Listen, <laughs> Lyft is H-E-B. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uber it's Fiesta. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on now. I prefer Lyft. For real. We, we sent the lady, market the, over here. The lady dog. pulled, uh, Uber pulled up with a, with, she had a crock pot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I first rode Uber, she had a crock pot in the fucking Uber. She like, make sure my, my beans don't Lyft? spill. Lyft? Yeah. Man, man, iPhone plugs, you know, water. Man, it's what you need. Yeah. What you need, you know. You know. That's a good point. Yeah. Come on, dog. That's a real good point. My, I ain't going to say other kind of shit. <laughs> you, you never know what you find in Lyft. But I've made so many, got, got so many great relationships about Lyft, like for his business and different shit. I just, I'm just a Lyft guy. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, that's it's like a hell of an endorsement. Yeah, that's I'm, a Lyft guy. I'm more of a Lyft guy. You know, yeah, I'm more H E B. I don't yeah, fuck with Fiesta. Definitely marketing. Nah, you know, not Ooh, movies. Are not not Uber. Uber Eats. Yeah, <laughs> fuck with Uber Eats. They live it in DoorDash. I was gonna say live it in DoorDash. Okay. They live it in DoorDash. And you know, I went back. You know, I was DoorDash for you know because I was a list. Oh, but yeah. Uber Eats, yeah, take it. <laughs> like H E B, yeah. You know, I ain't, ain't no ain't no samples. Ain't no <laughs> samples at a uh, Fiesta. Yeah. yeah I mean, you definitely not gonna talk about food Rama. <laughs> You know, <laughs> food time. Food time. I mean, food time. Now we don't. We only got yeah. it's H E B and that's it. That's it. We, that's we, all we you do. You no don't. Choices. No, we don't have no choices. See the H E B, Walmart. Man, it's not like yeah. you, you go to Aldi. We don't got no Aldis. You know what Aldi is? I know what it is, but we don't yeah. have one. Yeah. We, it's, oh, where you live at? In Corpus. Corpus. They got Sprout. Oh, they got Sprout. Sprout. <laughs> sprout. Like yeah, sprout. Yeah, sprout is like Sprout is like the. Fake Whole Foods. Yeah. Now Whole Foods. Yeah. No, it is. That's now, the real Whole Foods. Foods. Now Whole Foods. Now oh, yeah. you know, nah. It's Whole Foods then H E B. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Like I, I had a joke about that about women. Like, you know, you think your pussy is all that. You got that H E B pussy. Yeah. Some of y'all got that Whole Foods organic <laughs> pussy. Grass fed. Little, little ratchet nasty. Yes, that's the yes, pussy. Free range. Yeah. What about Central Market? Since market is top of the line puts it. Since the market is top of the line. They got that balanced pH. Since the market HB? Yeah. Yeah, since the market is That balanced pH. Like you just, I, it's like everything. You know, I, 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 you know, I didn't even know what fuck HB stood for. Yeah. How, the fuck, how the fuck do they balance their pH over there? <laughs> right? Like I didn't know what like, that really got jingled. Right HB really says true. Yeah. yeah, everything's bad. It's they not lying. They're not lying. Yeah. That meat that fiesta is not fresh. I, I, I co- down to, uh, further south in here, I call HB a, a benevolent monopoly. Oh, like, like, like they, they got everything on lock. Like, no grocery store survived in Corpus. I we had Albertsons it. for like a year and a half. You had Albertsons? The they had Albertsons? For like a year. Like, I, I like never knew what Albertsons was until I went to college. Yeah. Like, where I'm from, all we had was Piggly Wiggly. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've and heard of that. That's all we yeah. had. You know, and, and there's another Corpus story. I had a show. My homegirl, she looks like it. She looks like him. That's what I'm <laughs> thinking. But you know, she likes girls though. Okay. So she was like, hey, you know, I, I'm gonna bring some girls to the after party. I was like, cool. Boom. So the girl's boyfriend found out. And the girls were like, she's like, we gotta go. They, they say they, they say they're the after party. There's ESG, Slam Thugs, all these rappers are there. So the girl, you know, left. So it's just me and the homegirl. Fajita Mary. Fajita Mary. She looked like she looked just like how <laughs> she said, like, let's go to the taco truck. So we go to the taco truck. We eat the taco taco. And then when the girls leave, she like, hey, we can cuddle. Huh? 
<laughs> right as soon as she said that, she passed gay so loud. I'm mean, like, yeah. and she took off her shirt. She had a tattoo. I was like, ass, no in hell. What was, I would what was cut the tattoo her with you. It was some fucking big wings. She looked like a fucking gangbanger. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cutting her. Damn. And like, she's like, you give me your taco. <laughs> Here you go, Eduardo, Eduardo Sosa. Yeah, Eduardo Sosa Gonzalez. You be the little spoon, I'll be the big spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is Corpus story. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Corpus, Corpus, I love Corpus. Yeah, I, she's a fitness, I've never been to Padre I, I Island, though. I know what you're talking about. She's a fitness influencer in Corpus. <laughs> <It's> be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, never been to Padre Island, though. You got to take me there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. SPI. Yeah. You know, they do comedy out there, too, man. Man, SPI. I, need to go, I need to go do that. SPI, yeah, yeah. man. How, how we doing on uh yeah we're welcome. good brother perfect man hey thank you so much man appreciate you fast hour uh, dude so many stories we could we could do a whole episode just on follow up just on the suc we definitely do. when i drop a new rec shop era my shit mom the umbrella is my thing you know i got a lot of a lot of shit popping that's coming out you got a new movie coming out called the squad with my boy one it's 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 an amazing movie it's uh based out of h-town it's it's a uh, it's the first Chicano police squad that that was in the city. Like it's like the early nineties and shit. You know, they gangsters and gang and I'm a gangster from Fifth Ward. And I got my own uh like little little, uh, little nightclub over there and shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna tell y'all what all I get to do, but y'all look out for that. The squad is coming out. I got a, the South South State on the red tape is out. But the blue tape is coming. Me and my dog baby Sam got a mixtape coming. Me and uh Mellow, we got the Boss Hog Hot Boys coming. Me and the Flakes got some coming. Me and Sean Solo got Ocean of Funk 2 coming. Yeah. So y'all just stay tuned. It's yeah. going down. A lot of projects and uh And the screwed up comedy. And the screwed you cancer. Yes. That's sir. what issue said. Issue C, screwed up click, screwed you cancer, and screwed up comedy. Absolutely, man. Thank you so Thank much. You, my brother. Bro. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, awesome. ESG. Thank you for coming by, man. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Let him know your Instagram. ESG World. Already oh, badass. Follow my uh my Facebook, ESG. Yeah, and ESG World. Let's That's get it. Keep an eye out and look into it.